my local fruit. Right now, I'm really enjoying Ontario strawberries. They're, they're local and they're delicious. Well, I absolutely love strawberries and raspberries because they are delicious. I like apples. Apples are pretty good. They're delicious. A little bit of cinnamon. Put them in a pie. I like them. Making jams and cooking and having them in desserts is all wonderful. And they just taste the freshest right now in season. Well, I like peaches. I like strawberries. My favorite is raspberry, actually. If you take a look at this map, you can see that Toronto is home to an urban orchard. The fruit varies from pears, apples and apricots to berries, cherries and nuts. The problem is that too much of this fruit is going to waste. I think people buy grocery store fruit because it's convenient. Uh, they're already there getting other things. Uh, growing berries takes a lot of time. Usually the squirrels beat you to the berries, which is not nice. I try to grow um, strawberries and um, tomatoes, but um, raccoons and squirrels, they just destroyed it. So I am not growing anything anymore. Everybody seems to have uh, no time to do anything because they're rushing around working. And so it's easy and fast to get it from the grocery store. And lack of knowledge. Not everybody knows what to do and probably lack of time. A lot of people probably don't know where to go to pick apples in Toronto, I guess, so they just go pick it up at the grocery store. We've got all of these fruit trees growing in uh, uh, people's front yards, and if we could figure out a way how to um, uh, make people aware that they should be picking and harvesting and using up the fruit instead of letting it fall on the ground and rotting, then that would be a good thing. My name is Megan Anovich and I'm the director of Not Far From The Tree. The goal of Not Far From The Tree is to engage as many people in Toronto as possible in the urban harvest. And so we want people of all ages from all backgrounds to participate in the harvest and have access to the fresh, local and organic fruit that grows right here in the city. You start to have fruit goggles, which means that when you're walking around Toronto and you're walking down alleyways or looking in backyards, you start seeing all these fruit trees that you had never seen before. And then it's almost like you can't unsee them. You start seeing cherries in laneways, you see mulberries all over the ground, you see service berries outside of condo buildings. And then you just start to realize that there's so much fruit growing here, um, right in our own backyards. Um, I actually signed up as a volunteer and I went on a pear pick in the annex. So that was my first experience with Not Far From The Tree. And it was just so cool. I met a group of people who had come together in this backyard and together we picked over 100 pounds of pears. I was immediately hooked. So one third of every fruit pick is biked directly to a social service agency in the community. What we hear is that they really like the opportunity to receive fresh fruit. Um, it's a healthy, organic alternative to what they would receive from food banks. So it's a great way to encourage healthy eating amongst their clients. And usually that's, I would say, a better alternative than some of the food that you would get through a food bank. So fruit trees only last around 30 to 40 years. And many of the fruit trees that are growing here in Toronto are reaching that age. And with that comes disease and some of the trees are dying or needing to be cut down. And so what we're seeing is a need to replenish the urban orchard because if this is something we value here in the city, we need tree owners or homeowners who are willing to plant new trees, steward and take care of their existing trees to make sure that we have an urban orchard that continues to produce fruit for another you know, 20 to 40 years. This is a mulberry tree. Um, they're still very green. Uh, a couple of weeks are going to be fresh and ripe and delicious. And uh, this particular tree drops a lot of berries. It's very mature and you wouldn't want to park underneath it because your car is going to be coated in mulberry juice. Not many people know what to do with the fruit. So if you inherit a grapevine that's producing 300 pounds of grapes every year, but you're not making wine, um, a lot of the grapes end up falling to waste. 
So while this fruit is falling and going to waste, we have people in the city who can't afford fresh fruit. We have people who don't have access to fresh fruit. And so it seems like a great solution to pick the fruit and instead share it with people who could put it to good use. Toronto has a large urban orchard and it should be our choice to keep it healthy. And with the help of community support and our determination, we can try to make Toronto's community more aware of the food waste problem so we can have a healthy, strong urban orchard.